Hello there. Welcome to day five of International Nature Journaling Week. Today, I want to invite you to join me in exploring the theme of listening attentively to nature. Nature communicates through patterns, signals, and changes. That means that to be attentive listeners, we must also be attentive observers. We listen not only through our ears, but through all our senses as we attune ourselves to nature's signs. At times, it might be hard to hear what nature is saying. We might have our own internal voices speaking quite loudly, or we might be in a place that drowns nature out. If you're like me, you might live in a city where the sounds of the cars are so loud that some birds have changed their songs in order to be heard. Don't give up. There are different ways we can listen. Whether you're on a city street, in a garden, or out in a designated nature area, you can listen to nature. Here are some ideas of how. Pay attention to the sky. What clues does it give you about the weather that's yet to come? Which way is the wind blowing? Are the clouds going in the same direction as the wind? How hot or cold is it out today? How moist? What are the usual patterns? What are the unusual ones? And how might this all affect the other members of the environment? Let's look for signs. Pay close attention to the plants around you. How they're growing can tell us so much. We might question, why are you growing here specifically? How's your health? What do you need to be healthy? Is it here in this environment? What can you tell us that might be hidden from our senses? Stepping back, we might wonder which plants are in conversation with each other and who else are they talking to in the environment around them? Not all questions have immediate answers and that's okay. If you're a gardener, you might feel an extra sense of responsibility over the plants in your garden space. Remember, it's a shared space. You and nature work in partnership here, so it is extra important to listen to what nature has to say. What weeds are popping up? What might this be telling you about the soil that they're growing in? Look at the insects, birds, arachnids, and others who are here. Do they live here? Are they passing through? What do they seek here? What do they leave behind? What does their behavior say? Let's observe animal behavior. What are the animals paying attention to? Even when nature is holding still, let's pay attention. Why is nature holding still? Whose voices are we hearing? Whose voices are missing? Let's look for signs and evidence of life. Where do the birds poop the most? If we look up, what will we find overhead? The more we listen attentively to nature, the more we notice, the more we learn, and the more we understand that we need to keep listening. Listening might be exciting or possibly relaxing or maybe something else. So remember to listen in on yourself as well to see how you're responding to all that you're taking in. Let's listen in and let nature tell us some stories.